Away we go with college baseball today. The wind is blowing out. Out of neighboring Lebanon, Missouri. A lot of power in his stick. Oh, uh, and there it there, goes. Uh, there's a lot of power in his stick, Don. <laughs> Way out on the roof of the Bill Rowe training facility. Well, I, I, I told you before the game, I saw him hit a foul ball over the weekend here that was out of the ballpark before you could blink an eye, and it was over on top of the administration building, which is further in right field. But this is a hard turn, and this is gone. And that's deep out into left center, going back and not coming back. Goodness. Two well, in the inning for the Bears. Well, as I mentioned a while ago, they either they either miss it or they hit it a long way. And that's one of the one of the keys to this program's success over the last couple of years. And that is just good opposite field power. The left fielder looked at it and, and knew there was nothing to look at, but especially the <laughs> Cowboys. The Cowboys were just smoking it. That is backhanded by the second baseman, Riggio. He tried a little flip there, but no connection, and it's an infield hit for Sochi. Hence last year's, yeah. last year's regional taught them a lot. Down the line and into the corner for Rodriguez. Here goes Sochi on to third. He will be held up there. Yeah, that's probably one of those. That was that was a tweener. And on three and one, that's deep oh and my. way back to right and on the roof. Goodness. I mean, it was long, but it was also high. I mean, that that's what I'm really just amazed with. A three home run inning right now for Missouri State. And for Nivens, the double and the homer now of a potential second cycle of the season. Of the week. Yeah. <laughs> the Cowboys near the warning track. Missouri State's much deeper as he finds the hole, does Adkinson. For a base hit, the second hit of the game for Oklahoma State. And that's to the shortstop. Big hop. And Rodriguez gets the out at second Ooh. and the out at first. Didn't think there was a chance. Inherited the job. Yep. Partial swing. He did go, and that will take care of the Bears in the third. Ball four. He draws a walk here in the fourth. Does it again. Throws the runner. Pitch is high. Huge jump. And safe at second is McLean. Cal Poly and at Oral Roberts. There goes the runner to third. Uh, you may have heard, I heard Coach Gutton from third base say, watch him taking off. Whoa. Up the middle. And Oklahoma State is on the board. Boy, that one just about took the cap off of Lambert. He picks up a lot of mid-inning work. Check swing. And who's got it? It's flagged down by Rodriguez, but miss communication between he and Robertson. I think he thought Robertson was coming across to take it. Oh, and that hit him. Ooh. And that was an ouchie. On 2-2. A swing and a miss. Wow. Ziegenbein gets Atkinson to strike out. At not only the next level, but the level beyond that. And look at this double. Fair down the line. Gallard over to get it. And Benj into second. On one and one. Hit to the shortstop. Runner on to third. And out at first. Got that for a it, starting five. If it happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> that gets by. And here comes Benj to score the second Oklahoma State run. And ball four to put him on. And that. that's way back out into left center and that off the scoreboard. Wow. I mean, that is power. What a rip. Two run bomb for Schubert to make it 5 4 Missouri State. Don, I've not seen very many professional hitters come into this ballpark and, and hit. I mean, see, I've seen it occasionally you hit that scoreboard. But to see a left-handed hitter hit the scoreboard the way he did, that was that was something else. He's got the hat on. They're celebrating. Robertson over to the edge of the shade, and it's hit off the mound and 
Out to Hull at second. Great nope. effort, but safe. Well, the shift had him so far to the right. Yep. That one skipped in there and on to second is Brown. And that's bunted back to Eddington and to first. Uh -oh. ah, that's off the glove of Sochi and we are tied 5-5 here in the sixth inning. Got oh. him. Don't know what the pitch was, but Mendham really got. And Look at that, that is up the middle, handled by the shortstop. Wow. Rodriguez and on to first. Honestly thought it might be in a bad spot for the infielders, but Rodriguez made a key play. Three and two. Ball four. Well, McCutcheon did what he was asked to do. He hammers one to right. First pitch he saw, and the Bears have two on with nobody out. That is ripped to right. Oh, to the wall. Nivens rounding second, headed for third. Two run score. It's a triple for Spencer Nivens. And now he's a single away <laughs> from his second cycle in a week. I just. I was thinking, well, the, the, the right fielder is going to cut that down, and it just scooted past him. I mean, right here, you see, he's on it, he's on it, and it just gets past him. Ooh. One and one, and that gets by, and here comes Nivens for an 8-5 to five Missouri State lead. I thought it might have tacked Greer. I mean, he backed away and got out of the way. On 3-2, that's ball four, leadoff walk. Deep down the right field line, back goes Stewart into the corner, and he can't get there, and it will bounce over. He was he was tracing that thing all the way, and I think that's lofted into right. That'll score at least one. And the throw uh -oh. is offline. That's Here comes the second run. And a runner may go to third. Nope, he'll stay. Brown stays at second base. It's 8-7 Missouri State. I think you'll get a throwing. Will you get a throwing error on Stewart? I'm not sure. They rule it. It'll be, of course, be there's the single. And see if Should he, be. there's the error that comes up. Yeah. You got to get outs. That will at least tie the game. Uh -huh. Deep out into right center, and it is up against the gate. And into second is Atkinson. We are tied 8-8. Wow. Here it comes now to Binge. Yep, lost him. On the edge of the grass. That's bounced to Rodriguez. Looks like two out at second and oh. on by. <laughs> and the run scores for the lead for Oklahoma State at 9-8. I think that's going to be a throwing error on the relay there because it was really deep in the dirt. Ball four gets away. Oh, and the banner runner advances on the on the missed ball. And it's hammered oh, out to center field. That's not coming back. And goodbye wow. into the trees. Mm. Second home run of the day for Nolan Schubert. He has six RBIs in the game. Well, and, and that one really put some distance on the other end of the, of the board for the Cowboys. That Hammered might, to left. That might be another one, Don. Back it goes. And into the bullpen. And both have been opposite field for the young man. He has shown some opposite field power today. Hey, I'm at six. That is number six of the day. Four for the Bears, two for the Cowboys, and both of Oklahoma State's are Nolan Schubert's home runs. The leadoff guy is a key. Bouncer to second. And he makes it easy. One quick out here in the bottom of the ninth. Oklahoma State has a date with Austin P coming up after this. This roller is 
Oh, safe at first. Said he pulled him off. And I think you're going to score that a hit, Don. That's hammered down the right field line. Missouri State will indeed get the tying run to the plate in the bottom of the ninth as Stewart heads into second. And they hold up Hull at third. You have to hold him up. 1-1. One, one. That uh -oh. skips by. That'll get a run in. Well. 12 to 10. Hmm. 2-1. And hit hard to short. Scooped up by Brown. And out at first as the runner Stewart holds at third. Hit out into did left he, center. Did he gap it? And caught. No. And that will do it. <laughs> Oklahoma State wins.